Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I wanted to show you how to take some easy corporate business photos. And I've gathered here in the studio again today with Rose. <laughs> and she's going to be our model for the day. So let's hop in here and get started. Okay, everyone. Let's first start talking about my lighting setup that I have going on here. Now, to my left right here, I have a large five-foot octagonal softbox by Photo Deox. And I also have a grid in it. Now, grid's really important to keep the light focused where you want it without it spilling all over the studio. Now, I have a five-foot octagon, uh, octagon softbox here, but if you only have a three-foot or four-foot, those will work also. I'm using my five-foot one because it's what I have, and it also gives me the most even illumination across my model's face which is really important when it comes to business photos is you don't want any hard shadows. Now to help with this, to my right here, I have a nice five in one reflector with the silver side. And I have this to bounce in this way to also fill in those shadows. Now to add even more separation, I have a 24 by 36 inch Photo Deox softbox here, also with the grid, to add a rim light onto the side of the hair and really uh, make the model really stand out from the background. But we're not finished yet. <laughs> now right behind me I have another uh, speed light shining onto the background. This is for our background light here and it's going to add a nice round uh, vignette behind the model and also lighten up that background to give it a nice business professional look. Okay everyone. Let me talk about the camera settings I'm using here. Now I have a shutter speed of 1 200th of a second, aperture of f7.1, and an ISO of 200. Now I'm using uh, the Canon 80D here with the 18 to 55 kit lens for this tutorial. And now all my soft boxes here have Yangnu YM560 Mark IV speed lights in them. And my main key light here I have metered in already at f7.1. Now the fill light, rim light back there in the background, I actually have at F9. And the background light, you really have to adjust it depending on your background. I actually think, let me see what I got it set here. Yeah, I got it set about 164th power, which is just about what you need to really make the background look good. And of course the background here, I have just a simple and a newer uh, gray background. Works really well for business photos. So let's get in here and start uh, taking photos and turn these on one at a time. Okay. Now I'm going to take a photo and let you see what it looks like with just the key light. Let me actually move the reflector out of the way so it doesn't really affect our photo any at all. Okay. As we can see, the background is quite dark. There's, we really don't have no light separation in the back. And overall, we do have a lot of deep shadows here on the side of the face. So let's bring the reflector back in here. And let's angle it up. That should be really good there. It bounce a lot of light back in. Now let's take another photo. Okay, and as we can see, the reflector really filled in those shadows a lot. It did a really good job of putting light on the side of the model's face here, side of Rose's face. <laughs> Now that we got that done, let's bring in the uh, rim light there in the background. Let me turn it on. And let's take another photo. Okay. Now we can see it put a lot of nice, wonderful light onto the back of her hair to really help separate her from the background. Okay. So, let's turn on our background light here and take her photos. Okay, wonderful. Now we can see how all these working together really help to create a nice business style photo. So let's go ahead and take a few more photos.
Okay, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, how about giving us a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to our channel, be sure to subscribe. Subscribing's free, it's for you, and lets you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.